Okay, it says that I am live. Let me take care of some stuff over here. Uh, so that I can see if anybody's coming in. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me go ahead and... Alrighty, hi friends, how are you? Welcome to Decorate Your Life, Scrap Looking and Card Making. And this is my attempt at a live video. I normally don't go live because I'm not that familiar with streaming content. And so anyhow, what um, I want to share with you today is this mega Heartfelt Creations unboxing. Um... I've been doing a lot of resting lately and some shopping and so um, I, I've i signed up with a Heartfelt Creations um, email and they're constantly sending me emails almost on a daily basis and uh, even though I, I don't shop a lot online um, I decided to go ahead and get some things here. Hi Deborah, how are you? I can see you're here. Hi. Okay, I am so unfamiliar with this streaming things so uh, please forgive me if I don't see you right away and so uh, it's not that I'm ignoring you it's just that I'm trying to um, walk and chew gum at the same time <laughs> hi Aretha yeah Aretha yeah I could better see this over here well I'm not familiar with streaming y'all know that I'm constantly recording and editing my videos and then uploading them but okay I want to start by saying I am doing so much better this is what like what week four or week five I forget post-op and um, I did have to take a painkiller before coming on here because I, I cannot feel it you know where they removed my little bones I can actually feel it and it's this sensation that it's not only pain but there's this burning sensation in my spine and oh my gosh that hurts and when I walk it's like <laughs> you know hand me the walker <laughs> <laughs> because I don't do that very well but I've had this box um, this big box of heartfelt creations that I ordered and I let it sit there for a couple of days because obviously you know the corona and they say that just let it sit there for a couple of days before you open anything up and so I've done just that and I thought that I would come in here and and share what I've purchased with you hi Julia how are you and I see D and D crafts is it no B and D crafts I can't see very well let me look over here Oh, I'm doing better B and D crafts. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot better than I was doing four weeks ago. But you know, I'm not 100% there yet. Although I did start crafting some just for a little bit at a time my thing is I can sit I started off by sitting for about 20 minutes at a time before I, I could no but now I've pushed on to 30 and even sometimes 45 minutes it all depends on on how my pain medication is holding in and so I did do something the other day let me show it to you I made this box Okay, and um, this is a tutorial that I'm going to be working on, and it's super easy, super simple. It's kind of like one of those exploding boxes, and I tell you, I was um, inspired by my friend Elizabeth. She's Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb right here on YouTube, and what Elizabeth is doing is she is... Um, she's re-uploading some of her old videos that she wound up deleting and so she inspired me to look at my way back when videos and so I was checking out oh there's a bug there I was checking out this video of mine um, from a couple of years ago where I did this uh, whole explosion box shabby chic thingamajiggy and so I figured well since I can't sit for hours on end and do a mini album let me do something easy and I and I would share that with you and so this is my prototype and it turned out really really cute but it's not finished and when you open it it goes boom <laughs> and so um, while I was making this it gave me another idea so I'll be working on those ideas in the days to come and of course I will upload those videos for you in the days to come and so uh, Oh, Brian! I was wondering who B&D crafts was. <laughs> Hi, Brian! 
Brian, how are you? I saw that that you're back from the hospital. Something happened to you. And a picture of your doggy. It was that a pit bull that you have? But it was such a cute dog, and he was so happy to see you once again. Happy to see you once again, Brian. But yeah, um, going going back to here. I placed an order for Heartfelt Creations because they were having this, um, what you might call it, um, uh, a bundle sale in which they sell their retired stuff that includes three packs of their paper pads, two sets of dies, and two sets of their rubber stamps, all for 69 bucks. Okay, now if y'all have shopped Heartfelt Creations in the past, y'all know that getting all that for 70 bucks, for right under 70 bucks, is a mega deal. Okay, and so I decided to go ahead and place that order. Plus, I wanted to um, get a couple of these. Okay, now these y'all know y'all have seen me work with these before and these are those uh mini album forms alrighty and i normally work with the graphic 45 mini albums and and i just love mini album forms because y'all know how much time it takes to um to make a mini album okay and i figure well you know what this way they've done all the work for me okay and if I want to I can go ahead and do the flippity flops <laughs> you know like the flips and the pages and add stuff to them if I wanted to do that so that's why I bought these and you know what these go for like I think 13 bucks a piece okay and for 13 bucks a piece you get quality workmanship everything is already made for you and i'm like hello it's no brainer okay and this is gonna save me what two days worth of work because <laughs> when i make a mini album you know you start with your base it takes me forever okay because i am very um what do you call it um gosh um i i i'm 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 very anal retentive <laughs> Okay, uh, I, not that I'm looking for perfection, but I look at every single little detail. And if y'all have seen my mini album base tutorials in the past, y'all know how detailed I am, you know, to uh, uh, on how I apply the tapes and how I apply the glues. And that's why making these take me forever ever <laughs> so i figure you know what might as well pay for somebody else to do it for me and i know that they're doing an exceptional job and at 13 bucks a piece i think these were 13 bucks a piece i i forget or somewhere around that neighborhood you know it's a no-brainer i can't go wrong and if i want to i can go ahead and just add the flippity floppity pages to it and <laughs> you know and so i went ahead and got two of these they had the white ones they were out of the black ones and I really wanted to get black and craft and I almost got the white but I'm afraid that um, it'll get dirty too quickly you know like dusty and whatnot and so that's why I just decided on two of the craft ones but I highly recommend if you want to make mini albums in in half the time of what it normally takes you I highly recommend that you pay these people a visit and also graphic 45 they also carry mini album bases and you don't wind up paying an arm and a leg okay and you know that buying them like these you know that they're made perfectly each and every single time so so um that's my review on their mini album bases and so it so happens that the very same day that i placed my order for that bundle package thingamajiggy they um they were doing a freebie so i got this heartfelt creations fold out cards um just kind of like out of curiosity because I've never really worked with their fold out cards and this is what you get and I got I think this is the white one that I got uh, it's four pieces you get these four pieces like so and so um, it, it was just out of curiosity I have made fold out cards 
way back when and it is a lot of work okay because you have to do the measuring and you have to do the die cutting and so forth and so I figure something like this it's already done for me and if nothing else if I don't use this in a card I figure I can always use these as my templates to make future cards and this was a freebie so I was like yeah let me go ahead and do that and a 5 by 7 card um, I thought that the 5 by 7 was a really good and generous um, size let me stop for a moment and see what y'all are saying hi just paper and bling okay Brian says I'm well I wasn't in the hospital I just went out to pull <laughs> To pull weeds for a few minutes. Lucky is totally attached to me. Oh my gosh, Brian. I have two cats, okay? One of them, oops, I, I, okay. One of them is a runt that we found, we rescued, okay? Literally rescued her. She was this small and she was in like an, um, um, what you might call it? Uh, a lot of homes are being built here in the Houston area okay people move here in droves so there's always construction going on okay and she was rescued in between the walls of a brand new house that they were in the middle of building okay so so my my daughter's boyfriend picked her up and we kept her it was like the mom gave birth to kittens and she was left behind Un, you know forgotten to die and so we took her and as a matter of fact today is her second year with us and so uh, what brought me to the cat story I don't know but she's here and so we have that one cat and I believe she's a blue haired because she's all gray and it kind of shines in blue and we looked it up online and I think it's called a blue hair uh, cat and so the second cat that I have which I call Squinkla Squinkla is a um, Oh, the bundles, high cherished treasures at heartfeltcreations.com. Alrighty. And so um, the other cat is a Siamese, and she's the one that's attached at my hip. And sometimes it's hard because she wants to like be by me at my side, and whenever I have to lay down and rest, she likes to get up on top of me, and that's when I feel everything. So I'm just like kind of like pushing her off of me because I cannot stand to have any weight. On me anything that bears down that that uh, puts strain on my back I can't stand that just yet and so yeah uh, um, that was off on a tangent <laughs> so let me show you let me show you what I came here to show you see and whenever you order from Heartful Creations they always give you these cute little candies I think they're um what you might call it um mint and so I am going to open this up for the first time and I don't know what's in here other than the um, that you can see these. So let's go ahead and open these up together because I do believe that they still have some left and uh, this way you'll know whether or not you want to go ahead and place that order. And like I said, it's the three paper pads two sets of stamps along with their um, dies all of this for 69 bucks this is separate stuff that I bought and I also had this free plus my um, whenever you place an order over a hundred dollars you get uh, free shipping so I did have free shipping so let's go ahead and I want to take a look at the paper pads but this is what's included in this bundle it is the singing in the rain and this is so uber cute Ooh. okay and this is the matching dies for that so and as I'm sure a lot of you already know the Heartfelt Creations, um, whatchamacallit, the Heartfelt, what, what am I seeing there? Say something. Okay, the um, these normally go for, what, 29 bucks a piece, so I figured 69 bucks for the whole thing, plus their paper pads are 29 bucks a piece. So, you know, I, I thought it was a really great deal. So, in this bundle, you get this. And this is called the Songs of Spring, in which you get the rubber stamps along with their coordinating die sets. 
and you know it's 30 and 30 60 so you know this is I thought it was a really great deal and this is what I'm looking at really okay the uh, paper collection that you're getting and this this is called the singing in the rain collection and this goes with this right no 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 wait a minute it goes with this one <laughs> Well, actually, it can go with either one because here's some pretty umbrellas, too. Okay, so you get the stamps and you get the dies and you get the paper pad. And I'm going to um, go ahead and do a, I'm going to try to do a quick uh, flip through. Hang on just a moment. Of the singing in the rain. And let me just okay oh my gosh this is so beautiful and it's so hard to okay let me see if I need to move some things and you know what's making this really difficult for me is that um, from what I'm seeing in front of me it's on a delay it's like what on a 20 30 second delay and so I can't really see this in real time to ensure that I'm giving you a good view so and um, hang on a second let me let me see okay I think I have it alrighty I think I have it let's see let's see who else is here Dr. Shineva Early. Hey, how are you? Welcome. Oh, they do stamp beautifully good. Yeah, I need to practice my stamping. I hardly ever do any stamping, and I do have Copic markers. It's just that I don't know. It, it's I, I, it's too, um, I just don't do it well. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Oh, you found your kitty, your dryer vent. Oh. Oh, well, she lived a long life for 13 years. That's awesome. Hi, Kathy. Isn't it a great paper pet? You know what, Kathy? I've been watching your videos. I've been watching a lot of y'all's videos, but the thing is here, a lot of my time I'm spent in bed resting, so I'm watching y'all's videos on, um, on my television. And in my television, I don't get to... Um, to comment you know and so here I'm you know what let me just do it this way and I don't get to comment and I keep my phone uh, when I'm watching television I keep my phone on my side but here here's this I cannot twist I can't do any twisting motion as of yet okay so it's hard for me to kind of like grab my phone so that I can go to the video and leave and leave a comment but I have been leaving thumbs up because in my remote control I do have the ability to leave you uh, with a thumbs up but other than that I cannot comment and oh my gosh Kathy you've been getting so many great um, entries and if you all don't know Kathy who is Katzel creates right now she's holding a memory dex card challenge so y'all might want to check it out I don't know if she's going to extend it or not but look at these aren't these blues pretty and this is what the back to that looks like it is so pretty I just love a lot of oh my gosh look at this is beautiful oh my word let me move my microphone so it'll give me more room this is absolutely beautiful you know what they are coming off very easily and of course you get two of the same see they're coming off of the paper pad and you get um what you might call it words <laughs> strips of words <laughs> look at this this is so super pretty this is so cute i love that i love that and oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. I'm, I'm not loving that the papers are coming off so easily because I really, I like to keep my papers intact until I'm ready to use them, but it is what it is, so it's okay. And here's another super pretty paper design. And these are so cute. Look at this, and I love the tag. And now that I have my brother scan and cut, I can... Um, go ahead and and scan 
and cut. <laughs> And look at that. Aren't they super cute? So right now, from I'm liking what I'm seeing. And see, I love stuff like this. The intensity and the colors. And, and I guess that's why I just love Graphic 45 so much. Because it gives you something that's just, you know, right there. And no, no, no. I have my kitty in here and she's going through my stuff. And so, um, yeah, I just love very colorful items. You know, I like the shabby chic and the pastel and the pale items as well. But this is what grabs my attention most of all. And so, look at that. And, and I don't know about y'all, but to me right now, that $69 that I spent on this kit. And, and remember, we still have two more paper pads to go through. To me, it was well worth it. Look at these designs. Aren't they gorgeous? Stop it. She's going through my stuff, my little kitty. I call her Swiper because she loves swiping stuff and, and running away with it. She's one of those cats that steals stuff. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not that crazy about this design right here, but everything else is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And I'm not loving how these just pop right out, but it's okay. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I like how these are drawn. They're drawn very, very nicely. And look, look at that. It is so pretty. So absolutely beautiful. Okay, Kathy, I got this. Go to the Heartfelt Creations website. I believe it's heartfeltcreations.us. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says limited edition because they don't, they don't advertise their sales. See, that's the thing. You have to look for it. Go down the bottom. Let me see if I can show you in my, um, whatchamacallit. Hang on just a moment. Let me go to Heart creations okay you're gonna go to the website alrighty now notice how they don't advertise what's on sale you just scroll and you scroll and you scroll hang on a second um okay this is your main page right now what they have so we're gonna look for the shop page see that click on shop okay and come on okay now we're on the shop page so they have new products you don't want to go well you want to go there if you product collections just keep going keep going keep going keep going okay right down here notice how they worded limited edition that's where you want to go okay they don't say sale alrighty they never I've noticed that about them they never put like it's on sale or it's on clearance but their limited edition is the stuff that they've put on clearance and this is what I bought and look they still have some left 69 bucks you're gonna get all this and over here they do tell you not to order more than one because everybody's gonna get the same exact thing alrighty and sometimes and this is my next one but right now you can see it's out of stock in which they will sell you their loose sheets a huge uh, what, what do they call it a pack of 50 of their sheets for 15 bucks okay so the next time um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a pack of their loose sheets to see what uh, what they have and so right here they have some stamps and some die sets on sale and they have the die and the stamp for 20 bucks marked down and you and I know that Harfell Creations the regular prices is like 30 bucks a piece so 20 bucks for both is a good deal in my opinion but yeah remember they never say sale they always call it limited edition until they sell out of the stuff so this is where I, I ordered it from and when your order reaches a hundred bucks then you get free shipping otherwise you're gonna pay for uh, shipping and the shipping does cost a little bit so yeah um, that um, yes okay you are very welcome so let's continue with this because this is how you're gonna see okay this one I'm not crazy about but I could probably do this like in packaging Ooh, but I do like this 
this is absolutely beautiful. Let me try to speed things up here because I know that I, I take forever when I do flip throughs. And look at this. Isn't this pretty? That is so super pretty. Ooh, and see, I just, I love the intensity of colors like this. I just love that. And look at that. That is so cute. I'm just not loving how these papers are coming off the thing, but oh well. Oh, look at this. And this is what I enjoy about their paper collections because they always give you plenty of tags and and shaped stuff like this and if you have you know you can always fussy cut of course but if you have something like a scan and cut you know just run it through your scan and cut and and let it cut uh, die cut it for you so oh and this is a very pretty shade of pink okay so that takes care of the one paper pack see now let me try to fix this and ooh, look at this. And the second one that they gave is it called Buttons and Blooms. Alrighty. So the buttons and blooms. Oh, let me go ahead and open this up. Let's see if I could put this over here for a moment. Let me open this up. <clears throat> and I do like to check the Heartfelt Creations website every now and again because, like I said, they don't advertise their clearance, okay? And sometimes the other paper pads that I'm going to show you, I'm going to... I was like, wow, I got them for like 12 or 13 bucks a piece, okay? Yeah. So, oh my gosh, look at this. This is so summery. I love this. You know, especially for those who like pastels, this is so summery. It's so pretty, super pretty. I could see these in Happy Mail or even a mini album. Look how beautiful this page is. And you get sentiments and look at that. Beautiful, just beautiful. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. And that's pretty too. Ooh, this is really, really nice. I just love all of those flowers and everything. Yeah. Oh, look at this patchwork. That is so super pretty. I love this. You know, see, they're coming off. I'm not liking that they're coming off, but, you know, it's, it's still a great deal. But I'm not loving how they're coming off. Ooh, this is super pretty. I could see this in a 12 by 12 layout. This is so super pretty. <gasps> Look at this. I love that. I just love that. I love, 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 love. Oh, and look at that. This is the bottom. You could do it sideways like I'm looking at it right now. Oh, and look at these. It's like a quilt. It's so pretty so nice and look at these see and you could um fussy cut these or run it through your skin and cut and the same thing with this Ooh, i really really like this there's like layers of design on this you see the polka dots underneath the polka dots you have these filigree designs and underneath that you have like this denim type of design i really like that when they layer um when they layer the designs like that. And you usually find that type of work you'll find like on the high ends, like Heartfelt Creations, Graphic 45, Prima. You know, those papers will do that layers and lay. Oh, no, honey, it's okay. Layers and layers of design. Hang on a second, my kitty cat wants out, okay? Just give me a moment, please. Here you go. Oh, go. Okay. She was squeaking to be let out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so pretty. I love this. I love that. That is so super pretty. I love designs like that. And look at this. This is super pretty as well. Oh, that is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And look at that. That is so super pretty. You know, I could see me using the backs of these designs mostly on a mini album because I, you know, I, um, 
I have a ton of pictures. My kids are grown now, but I have a ton of baby pictures and from they when they were growing up. And that's why I was telling myself, I need to make more mini albums so that I can put all of their stuff, all of their pictures and, and things, little things that you save, you know, in mini albums. And look at that. That is super pretty. So pretty. And this is what the back of it looks like. So this collection is called the Buttons and Blooms, and this is what you get in that $69 package. So let me put this to the side. And the last one that you get is called Patchwork Daisy Collection. And it looks like it has a lot of lilacs. And let me just do this. And right here. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh, how pretty, look at that, that is so pretty, oh my gosh, look at this, see, I love intense colors, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love that, look at that, wow, I just love stuff like that, oh my gosh, and here's another one, well, yeah, two pages of the same, oh my gosh, I love that, and look at this, I love this, I am loving the back side more than the front side. I mean, the front side is pretty as well, but I am so loving this. Look at that. These are super pretty as well, but I'm loving this side. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. So I guess what they do is the front side um, for like card making, if you are into card making, and then the back side, if you're into scrapbooking, that's, that's my logic. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong, but I am loving this. Yes, they are very beautiful, Julia. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pretty. It's so super pretty. And I'm going to try to go a little bit faster. I am liking this side more than I'm liking that side. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so super nice. <gasps> Oh my word, look at this. That is so pretty. I love that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to make a mini album. Oh my gosh, look at this. So pretty. And this. Oh my word, look at that. It's just beautiful. And it's so perfect for summer crafting, you know? So beautiful, so perfect. Hi, Teresa. How are you? How are things in Brazil? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And look at this. This is so super beautiful. Teresa, I shopped at uh, heartfeltcreations.us, and I got a bunch of stuff, so that's what I'm showing off right now. And you know me. I love intense colors, which is why I went with a... With, with the others, I bought the other stuff. This right here, I didn't know what looted in this surprise bundle or pack, but I am so loving these intense colors. Teresa um, Andor Violetta is by Teresa Cruz is another Graphic 45 uh, design team member, and she has a YouTube channel of the same. Please go and, um, and sub to her channel. She does a lot of amazing projects and a lot of amazing tutorials. And I know that she has submitted her thing for a second year at Graphic 45. Teresa, I've already done my two years, so I have to step down for a year before I reapply. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? So I'm not going to be reapplying for uh, any design teams. And what I'm going to stay with is... Um, Spellbinders. Uh, they have already contacted me, so uh, I'm picking up with Spellbinders once again in May, in the latter part of May, because like I said, I can, I can sit down for about 30 minutes at a time. You know, give me a couple of more weeks before I can you know, do a lot more than what I'm doing now. You know, it's baby steps, baby steps. And I tell you, I do miss crafting. Oh my gosh, I miss it so much. You know, but like I said, I've been doing a little bit at a time because I, I tell I tell my mom, there's only so much television that I can watch throughout the day. <laughs> so um, 
once again to let you all know this is the collection that you get and you also get this one and you get this one and you're going to get these um dies and stamps and you get these dies and stamps when you order that $69 one okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side and I'm gonna show you what I ordered um, okay they have a this I paid full price for okay this is their French cottage collection and what drove me to ordering it is as you all know I love intense colors okay oh Brian yeah um I'll tell you I I always have a ton of people come design team call time or design team call season I always get a lot of people private message me on how how do I do it how is it that you do it you get in so I've been thinking when I get better okay uh, much better than what I'm doing right now I'm gonna go ahead and do a video because a ton of people and it's always the same questions and let me tell you this um, when I first landed a major design team okay now I've been on other design teams on stores that are no longer running or uh, mom-and-pop stores you know because it's always important to support small business and I have done that in the past and and a lot of times you know you you, you get intimidated um, for um, to um, to apply for one of these big companies whether it's heartfelt creations prima graphic 45 spellbinders and whatnot and so i i did a lot of studying not through other paper crafting channels because you see paper crafting channels it is my belief my opinion that on youtube paper crafting channels have come a long way since i first joined youtube okay i think and a long way i mean a lot better in their graphics uh people are doing a lot better in their editings in their picture taking in the way they do their presentations and so forth because it used to be when i first joined youtube i think some seven years ago i think i'm mistaken I could be mistaken, but um, you would see these absolutely beautiful works of art, but the lighting, the, they, these videos didn't have sufficient lighting or, or it was so blurry that you could hardly appreciate the work that was being shown to you. And so what I did, Brian, was I went to the major YouTube channels, which at that point in time were the makeup gurus. And I closely watched what they did, how they did it, all the technicalities like from the lighting their background lighting their video editing uh, the things that they said and how they said them okay all those things and I translated them to the crafting industry and let me tell you something guys you don't need to have 20,000 subscribers or a hundred thousand subscribers to land a deal with a major company no you don't need that okay what the majors major companies are looking for number one okay um, stay away from Aliexpress okay because if you promote Aliexpress which everybody knows are knockoffs and they steal designers designs okay they're not going to consider you if you promote Aliexpress number one number two um, present the product okay in its best light meaning when you're doing your presentation of of your uh, project share you know do your best with what you have I didn't start like this I learned things along the way by watching the makeup gurus by seeing how they would set things up and all of that and yeah um, I definitely would would say that go ahead and watch the mega youtubers watch um oh gosh I don't even remember Linda Belinda I think I used to watch Lin I think Belinda Linda or Linda, 
I forget, Linda Belinda or something like that. And and I learned a buttload of stuff from her. But watch the big YouTubers on how they do their editing, how they do their lighting. And and I tell you, they don't they don't do hours and hours of of video footage for just one project. No, it's like six seven minutes boom they are done okay and and that is one of the things that these major companies are looking for but yeah brian when i'm a lot better what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and do an in-depth uh video on how it worked for me okay now i am not the authority on getting picked up for major uh paper crafting companies by any means but I tell you I'm gonna share with you what I learned and how I applied things that I learned so that I would have a better chance in getting picked okay because when I started when I got picked by spellbinders hon I had maybe maybe a thousand subscribe it okay I didn't have this expensive microphone that I now have, okay? I didn't have a Mac back then. Macs are very expensive computers. I didn't have expensive editing software, but what little I learned, I applied it to what I already had, okay? So I will be coming up with one of those videos sometime in the future. So anyhow, um, yes, Belinda Celine, that's who I used to watch all the time religiously okay so let me get back to this paper um this one is a brand spanking new collection and this one is called the french cottage and you will see why i went ahead and paid full price for it this one went for 29 bucks alrighty, and uh because of the intensity in the colors and i just love the designs that i went ahead along with my other stuff and besides i wanted the free shipping because i figured the shipping was going to be what 15 16 bucks i said you know what instead of paying that amount of money for the free for the shipping might as well get more stuff and apply that money towards you know the paper pads so look at this to me this is absolutely beautiful i love the vintage colors i love the browns i am drawn to stuff like this okay hence graphic 45 which is why i love working with that paper line so much and oh my gosh look at this oh my gosh i drool over stuff okay i absolutely love it love it love it love it well you are welcome brian you are so very welcome oh my gosh i just love stuff like this the intensity of those colors oh ah, mm -mm -mm. oh my gosh look at this see and y'all know i don't do shabby chic very often there's nothing i mean i like shabby chic shabby chic is fine and everything but you give me something like this any old day i am in la la land oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i just love stuff like this oh my goodness this one i'm not so crazy about but these are the colors and the shades that i love working with look at this and i really like how they added the bright white on top of the designs i think it, it makes for a very classy look and speaking of classy look at this i love stuff like this oh my word i love that oh my gosh look at this see that i love that i love that so much look at that that is just absolutely beautiful. Hi, Sandra Miranda. <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. This is so beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. So beautiful. This one, I could take it or leave it, okay? That design, I'm like, eh. I think it's a bicycle wheel with spokes. But this, oh gosh, I absolutely love that. Oh my gosh, look at this. And see, here's an opportunity for a ton of die cutting. Not die cutting, I'm sorry. Um, 
uh, fussy cutting. <laughs> you know, you can do the fussy cutting by hand or you can run it through your scan and cut, you know. And this is nice, but I'm loving this better. Yeah. Oh, my word. And look, and here are more opportunities for fussy cutting. I just love that. And I like the back of it, too. But this is really nice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at this. I love that. I lo oh my gosh, and that. This is really, really pretty. To me, I just love all that stuff. Hi, Rosa Kelly, how are you? And look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so super pretty. And I love stuff like this. Very vintagey, very out there. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, and look how pretty this is. This is so super pretty. And I love colors like this. And this, y'all, is the French Cottage Collection. Okay, now I do have some other collections that I bought, I want to say, a month or so ago. And the thing about these is that remember how I said that they don't announce their sales or clearance and you got to make sure that you scroll all the way down and you hit click on that limited edition. I found these and these were going for like 12 or 13 bucks. I want to say $12.75 each. Okay. And I fell in love with this. This is the Sweet as Honey collection okay and let me open it up look at that that is so super pretty and remember guys you just got to keep at it and keep visiting that website because they never ever ever tell you when something has been marked down alrighty and look at that I just love the intensity of that yellow you know the sunflower yellow with the bees and my plan for this one is to make a mini album look at that it's so beautiful oh my gosh this is so super cute I love it you gotta see this guys look at that I love that love 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 it look at that it's so beautiful I just love that yellow and typically I I'm not drawn to yellow but when it's an intense gold like this I just oh my gosh I love it and like I said, once again, it the sheets come off of this so easily, and I'm not loving that, but it's okay. And this is pretty too, the patches. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I love the gold with the black. And speaking of sales, guys, I don't know if y'all are aware of this website. It's called Snap Click Supply. Okay. Um, if y'all are fans of Echo Park, Bo Bunny, and this other brand, right now uh, they're having this 50% off sale and it's almost all of the Echo Park. Okay. And what it is is that instead of getting the physical product, you print it out on your printer. Alrighty, so you have an endless amount of papers, uh, digital papers that you can print out and you can use in your paper crafting. And the name of that one is um, Snap Click Supplies. <laughs> yeah, the sheets fall off. But look at this design. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That is so super pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. I just love that so, so much. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> this is so beautiful. 
I love it. And look at this. I love it. It's so whimsy and so playful. I just love <gasps> Another fussy cutting opportunity. Look at that. I love that. They're so super cute. So pretty. And this is pretty too. And check these out. Aren't they divine? I love that. I love that. And this is pretty, a nice pretty shade. And here we go. Well, okay, Sandra, you said not too many pages for 30 bucks. Well, these I bought at clearance for 12 bucks and change at the Heartful Creations website. So no, I didn't pay full price for these. The one that I did pay full price for was the uh, French Cottage collection because after seeing the colors, I had to have it. <laughs> okay, I had to have it. So, and, and my thing was, I rather, uh, because the shipping is not cheap. Hang on a second. The shipping is not cheap, so I rather have my money go into the paper pad than to pay uh, for the shipping because if you order something like a minimum of a hundred bucks, you get free shipping. So, so I didn't mind getting that. And oh my gosh, look at this! This is so pretty. And look how pretty. So yeah, these ones that I'm showing you right now, I did not pay full price for at all. Oh, yes, the fairies, the bumblebee fairies or something. They are so cute. I love them. Oh, my gosh, I love them. And look at the back of that. And, okay, that is one paper pad. And this one, guys, is called the Sweet as Honey. And I guess you could get it at Amazon. You can, um, at Amazon or eBay, you know, just, uh, Check out your, your mom and pop stores. And this one that I also pay like 12 bucks and change for is called Butterfly Medley. And I fell in love with this. I fell in love with this. And let me open it for you. I just love butterflies. And I do have my... I have quite a few butterfly dies now that I've collected through the years and I figured you know I almost ordered their butterfly dies but I figure you know what I have plenty of butterfly dies so I'll just be using mine the ones for my stash instead of buying more and more and more you know but I absolutely love designs like these look at that that is so super beautiful as a matter of fact did y'all know that when Heartfelt Creations first began, a lot of the Spellbinders dies, they would make it so that a lot of the, their Spellbinders dies went into their designs, that you could use the Spellbinders dies to cut, die cut, you know, designs from their papers. I didn't know that. But yeah, it, it used to be like that until they figured out, you know what? We're leaving money on the table. Let's make our own dies and stamps. <laughs> so... Look at that. Isn't that cute? That is so super pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my word. That is so super. <gasps> look at this. I love this. I love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh. I tell you, I have paper pads to last me for a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it's so super pretty and look at this I just love that I love that I love that and look at that oh my word look at this isn't that beautiful that is so super pretty beautiful and oh my gosh look at this i could see this right here as um you know those 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts as a layout when people do the side by side that is how i see myself using these these are so pretty oh my gosh i know rosa kelly i know it's such a beautiful collection 
Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to burp and I burped right in the mic. <laughs> and look at that. That is so beautiful. I just love that. So super pretty. Oh my God. So beautiful. Such beautiful paper collections. Here's another one. And look at the back to it. Love that. <laughs> I know. You can never have enough. I tell you, I have. And, and I think that if you compare me to other crafters, I think that I do very, very well in restraining from buying a lot of stuff because, oh my gosh, I tell you, there's a small fortune in here in my craft room, you know, when you start adding everything up. And you know what, guys? When I first started crafting, I used to go to Tuesday morning like two or three times a week. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore because it's it's like you know like i said earlier just how many butterfly dies can i have you know so okay this one this and this let's see okay i'm gonna give you all the heads up all righty and let me see i got one open and one close all righty i believe i got this in ebay the lady that was selling these at eBay was selling them super cheap okay so my intention and I'm giving you the heads up my intention is keeps and the other one's gonna be a giveaway but I'm not doing a giveaway right now okay my uh, my plan is when I come back to crafting on full swing I am gonna do a mega and I did announce this uh, on my Facebook after this whole coronavirus and thing once we have beaten it and there's no danger of people getting uh, infected through the mail or anything like that I am going to hold a mega um, uh, what you call it uh, giveaway not only on YouTube but also in my website okay I'm just letting y'all know giving you the heads up so make sure that you stay subscribed to my channel and make sure that you click on that bell notification because it's coming it's gonna come and yeah I'm my my um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to all these different mom and pop shops crafting shops and I'm gonna order a ton of stuff and I'm gonna give it away as a thank you to my viewers a thank you to Heavenly Father and a big blanket thank you to to everything <laughs> hey thank you to my family thank you to my sweet husband and you know it's because I think that whether by this virus everybody whether in a small way or a large way everybody has gone through the ringer so um, yeah that's coming up okay so I have two of these collections it's called farmers market it's gonna be one for a giveaway and I'm gonna be giving a bunch of stuff away okay and this one is going to be mine alrighty so here we go this is what this collection looks like and of course it's got a ton of colors and I just love all these colors and look at this isn't this lovely? I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay, bye, Deborah. <laughs> Keep ordering more. <laughs> I love that. I love these collections. And look at that. It's so pretty. You know, but I'm glad that this is the last one because you know what? My um my incision side in my spine, may I it? It's uh it it feels like it doesn't hurt as much as it's burning. It's beginning to feel like it's burning inside. And so I'm going to have to uh, stand up and in just a little bit. So I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. So look at this. I just love these colors. I love that. I love that. I love that. And I'm beginning to feel very uncomfortable. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
I love it. 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 So, oh my gosh, look at this. I love stuff like this. Oh my word. Look at that. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. This definitely screams mini album. You know, so kindness, reap joy. I love the intensity in colors like this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Like that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Super beautiful. Oh my gosh, here we go. Some fussy cutting opportunities. I love it. Oh my gosh, and look at this blue. It's like this electrifying, intense blue. Just love that. And look at that. That is just so super beautiful. And this is what this looks like. It goes like this. And I think that is all. Yep, that is all of it. So, yeah, it was really nice visiting here with you, going live and... And yeah, I'm going to have to let you all go now because it's time for my medication again and it's beginning to burn. So yeah, um, a huge mega giveaway is coming up. I just have to continue purchasing. And I think I'm going to do different collections. Like I will do a Heartfelt Creations paper pad stamps and dies. And, and I will do something like Prima collection with their stamps and dies and the same thing for uh, graphic 45 and that is coming soon and I do hold monthly giveaways in my website and all you have to do is go to any one of my blog posts for the month so for example for the month of April uh, whatever comes up in my blog all you have to do is leave me a comment there and you are entered for the monthly giveaways in my blog so my blog is www.decorateyourlife.com and I spell decorate with the number eight. And uh, yeah, I hope to see y'all there. And I'm going to go um, go now. And thank you, Kathy. And so, uh, yeah, thank you so very much for visiting with me. It was nice talking to y'all. And I'll see you once again real soon. And I do have scheduled videos coming out this weekend, next week, and the week after that. <laughs> Bye now. Mwah.